come from Meru County. Uh, I'm the last born in a family of three. I got my disability when I was 11 years old. Um, I developed a paralysis. Uh, later on, I joined a special school where I graduated and then I joined St. Mary's Girls High School where I finished my high school and joined uni. Uh, but I had struggles, like I struggled a lot. Uh, but later on, I joined uh, USIU and a MasterCard Foundation Scholarship. And yeah, that's where I'm currently studying. I was looking to upskill. Uh, it felt like I was not doing enough, like outside my class, and I really needed to get an extra experience or rather extra skills uh, to advance myself, especially now that IT is very competitive. I was looking uh, on Twitter, there's these pop-ups, like I, I kept on applying for so many things until I saw an application. I wasn't sure about it. At first I thought it was a scam, <laughs> but I was like, okay, let me try it. I waited and then I got a response and I was like, I was shocked. So I just uh, replied back to the email and that I got myself to the coding camp uh, in Karen for the two weeks and I was really excited. It was amazing. I'd be honest, I was waiting to finish my last exam to come and join the camp. I kept on calling um, one, of, one of your team <laughs> to confirm if I'll still be shared because I joined after finishing my exams because I was a bit late. But it was really amazing. I learned a lot uh, web design. And then I was able to learn about uh, design thinking, which was something totally new from what I've learned in school. And yeah, I interacted with a lot of people and the girls as well. We really connected and we're still friends up to date. I believe it has opened doors for me. I've interacted with a lot of people, I've networked and I've been able to uh, teach young kids in primary school coding skills and basic computer skills. I really built a website out of it uh, for the uh, Gen Z Tech Hub that I'm doing back in Meru. Gen Z Tech Hub, um, I'm the founder. We have like a team of volunteers, uh, five students in different universities who volunteer their skills uh, towards training the kids, basic computer skills such as Microsoft Word, uh, Microsoft 365 using Gmail, and then we have like coding, camp, uh, coding skills training for kids where you're using HTML and CSS uh, and robotics. We are planning on introdu introducing robotics maybe when you get more funding from uh, other people. I wasn't confident enough if I would be able to carry the project without the training. But right now I would be like, uh, I had more skills to be able to, to impact or transfer the skills I have to someone. Uh, my future goals and aspirations is to build a startup company uh, to employ young people to build applications and uh, that are helping solve the world problems because I believe here in Africa we have so many challenges that requires so many applications to solve different problems and I hope my company will be one of those that will be able to solve some of the Africans challenges that we are facing. So I believe having disability should not be the limit for you not pursuing ICT and I believe women they, they have equal skills when it comes to coding and computer literacy and I believe if we create an, an environment where women are included we'll be creating a better society for all of us.